One big thing you need to know about a nuclear attack from North Korea is how the U.S. defends itself. What I'm hearing is that North Korea has the capability of launching a maximum of six missiles. The U.S. has increased the number of underground missile interceptors placed around the country from 36 to 44 since last summer. That means the U.S. could, in theory, stop the six North Korean missiles if they were all launched at the same time, even if they each had decoys. Although, experts predict that North Korea won't have decoys for another five years. The interceptors are intended to knock warhead missiles out of the sky, which is like a bullet hitting a bullet. But even in tests with ideal conditions, they only succeed a little more than 50% of the time. The jump from 36 to 44 missile interceptors gives the U.S. a higher margin of error to account for the rate of failure on those tests. But North Korea is continually developing its technology. Experts don't think North Korea is ready to hit the U.S. mainland with a nuclear weapon, even though Kim Jong-un claims it can. But as we continue to learn, no one actually knows what they're up to. It matters because everyone consistently underestimates North Korea's capabilities. North Korea has launched 23 missiles in the last year. Two of them flew over Japan, and a bunch of them are suspected to have been intercontinental ballistic missiles. The U.S. is ahead of North Korea in the offensive realm when it comes to nuclear weapons, but if North Korea were to attack today, we might not be able to defend against the threat.